there you go, folks. Welcome back, I say. I do sincerely apologise for the break in transmission. Circumstances way beyond our control, of course, but lovely to be back with you. And please always try and hold out. If we're the right side of 10 o'clock or the right side of 11 o'clock, I will always come back to you. I think it's very important. I am totally unsure what happened there. It was very, very interesting. I think there seemed to be buffering and then the screen froze and then it tried to catch up and I thought that was rather interesting. So there you go. George Raffin's watching. Fantastic stuff. Fine now, says George. George Mullins watching. Ian Cooper's watching. Robert Bain's watching. Giuseppe Bacchetti is joining us. He's watching. Angie Thompson's watching. Fantastic, folks. Is this live the now, says George Mullin. Yes, George, this is <coughs> live the now. And of course, it was live before, but we had a screen freeze. Quite interesting. Um, now, ooh, I thought, no, I'm not having that. Remember the winner never quits and the quitter never wins. And uh, I thought to myself, no, no, we need to go back. The show must go on. I need to speak to the world. Oh, there you are, says Edward James. Yes, here I am. Vera O'Hara has joined us. Dinky do, Vera. Welcome back, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. A great pleasure, Steve. Folks, if you're watching globally and you've just joined us, then I'm Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, live on the world's top broadcast platform. Facebook Live. We had a little technical challenge there. I think that might be the way of the world. I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember the early days of um, both public service broadcasting and commercial television. And very often the announcer, usually myself, would pop up and say, well, we apologise for the interruption to our programmes tonight. We will, of course, resume normal service as soon as possible. Scotty. Have you done an antivirus scan? That will tell you if there's something wrong. So there you go. Um, James Kittle's watching. How marvellous. Excellent stuff. John Paul Preston and one other has just shared the video. Thank you guys and thank you so much for sticking with me there. I just, it takes a while. As you know, you're under pressure in these things. You go, oh, come on, for goodness sake. What's happened? But uh, I think that's terrific because I did quite a bit of internet broadcasting on the radio and we used to quite often things would drop out and what have you so it just seemed to be very very popular there um alan brown's watching over in the united states of america in washington hello alan lovely to have you with us chum i got a fright there i thought the entertainment was finished says paul sefton never the entertainment is never finished paul the show is never over until the fat lady sings uh, alex robertson and three others have just shared fantastic Hi, Scott, say, is it coffee you're drinking, says Tajeb Yusfi. Uh, no, it's tea, it's tea, it's lovely. Mm. Billy Matheson, good evening, Scotty, keep up the good work. Billy, fantastic. We've had a lot of super discussion tonight, and I think that Mrs May should uh, have a long think uh, over the rest of the weekend and perhaps call the Cabinet together and say, just to say, guys, Triggering Article 50 is off the agenda for now. Let's have Indir F2 in Scotland first. That would be the right way to do it and see who's with us and who wants to come ahead. But I am not taking responsibility because we've been having folk who are unelected shouting at us and also some elected folk who you couldn't see for dust after the vote. You know who you are. Good evening, Scotty. Great to see you back, says Day Ross. Hello from Northern Ireland, says William Smith. Hello to you, William. Lovely to hear from you. And I hope things are going well in Northern Ireland. Cats or dogs, says Angie Thompson. Yes, our next subject for discussion. Do you prefer cats or do you prefer dogs? But you have to tell us why. Very important. Louise Sullivan's watching. Dinky do, Louise. Louise, you and I have got a tiny bit of business eh, ongoing. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Teresa uh, can have a long think. And I'll have a long drink, says Robert Bain. I love all this banter. It's fantastic. I'm Scottish, lol, says William Smith. I know you are. And I'm Scottish as well, William. But that doesn't stop you doing a good Northern Irish accent. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Um, so there we are. Both 
says Edward James. They like both. Well said, Scotty. It's up to the good people of Scotland to make up their own minds, says Billy Matheson. You're quite right, Billy. Very, very important. There's too much thinking. Oh, well, that'll do. I speak for the people. There's only one person who speaks for the people, and that is me, Scotty McClue. I speak for you because I have a mandate to speak for you because you have given me that mandate by being massive, massive audiences over the last 25 years for Scotty McClue. So there you are. So I make no apologies for my age and appearance. That's the way I look. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. Uh, Scotty and Nicola speak for the people, says Rudy. Yes, we do. I've never been out with a cat, says Steve Burrows. Oh, dear. Uh, John Paul Murray just joined us. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, John Paul. Let's use the canals, says Sandy Beach. Yes, indeed. Use the canals. Let's get heavy haulage off the road and onto the canals. That's what I say. I missed you when you went off the radio. I was gutted, says Paul Sefton. Yes, I was gutted too, Paul, because it was like being parted from your family. Uh, so there you are. You're still a young and Scotty, says Billy. Uh, this guy has to be back in the radio. He's uh, not controversial. He's just honest, <coughs> says William Smith. Yes, I am, William. You will always get the truth. I can tell you that. I love the way you look, says Vera O'Hara. Thank you, Vera. That is a really, really nice thing to say. Um, I have cats. Uh, they were my mum's. She died. And they were her weans. And I couldn't bear to put them to sleep. So they're now my furry babies, even though one's an outside cat and brings home half-eaten mice. Makes me sick, says Angie. Angie, I stayed with a dear friend of mine out in the country and I would go into the kitchen. I only did it a couple of times in my bare feet in the morning, as you would do at home. And I thought, what's this under the table? And it was, you know, <laughs> a bit of mouse. What a shame. Uh, have you ever given a dog a bone, says George Mullen. Oh, many, many times, George. Tell it like it is, Scotty. That's why we love you, says Becky. And a big kiss. Mwah. Big kiss to you, Becky, I say. Blow your big kiss. Uh, have you... Uh, dogs are much better than cats. They're bigger and smarter and loyal. Plus, you don't need to deal with them. They're mad mood swings like cats. Now, John Paul, that's a bit harsh. I had to learn how to deal with cats. And I remember my friend saying, let the cat go on if it jumps up on your knee. Don't try and put it back down because then it'll dig in its wee claws. <laughs> you see? All that sort of thing. So you have to learn that. And then there was a lovely, lovely big cat with friends of mine called Big Tom. He was a massive blue point. Those of you that know your cats will know what a blue point is. And um, when you were reading, the, in the days when we read the big papers, you don't see people reading big papers now. You read it on the table, spread the paper on the table. The cat would go up and he would wander over very slowly. He would then stick the heat on me. He would headbutt me and a uh, big soft head. And then he would sit right in the middle of the paper, right where I was reading. Amazing stuff. Uh, charges being brought to several better together, no voters who have been spewing unrepeatables on social media. Yes, I wonder why people do that. About time this news won't make all the national tabloids and broadsheets, says Rudy. No, it's interesting what makes the tabloids and the broadsheets. That's why we're going to go fund me to set up an independent media. All right. So there you are. So get funding, Scotty McClue. Go to GoFundMe, the website, and type in the Scotty McClue Show. Up will come the page. Stick some money in, guys. Uh, so there we go. Jill McGowan's watching Dinky Doo. Jill, I say now, have we time for one more share? Yes. Share, 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 share. If you don't mind doing that, that would be tremendous. Share everything with Scotty McClue. Share it randomly during the week. Um, I usually do a midweek pop-up. I didn't do it out of respect for what happened at Westminster this week. Uh, you know, I didn't want to pop up and, um, you know, be be a bit sort of light about anything, if you see what I mean. So that's why you didn't get a midweek pop-up.
this week but you'll sometimes get a midweek pop-up you might get a saturday night pop-up and there are two pop-ups from this morning uh well from just after lunch time you'll see them i've got a blue jumper on and uh and my 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 glasgow uni tie you see yes it's very smart out of respect for you lot right my cat sleeps with his head on my hand, says Lynn Kay. Yes, they do. Scotty, say hello to my sister, Jane Smith. She's just tuned in. She's a single parent benefit cheat that got pregnant to get a council house. <laughs> I don't believe you, William Smith. I think you're telling me a whopper. I'm going to call you Pinocchio. All right. Uh, did you see the clip of Ruth Davidson? Uh, getting caught out quoting English facts and trying to make out those Scottish facts. So just, I just don't believe, I mean, I would ask the question, why do we have unionists in a Scottish parliament? Now, I'm not being separatist or anything like that. It's just Scotland would be better in charge of its own destiny. And I think that Mrs May should run in Indirev 2 first and then look at brexit and if she's going to go for brexit go back to the country or talk with the cabinet about going back to the country it wouldn't do any harm and nobody would laugh up their sleeve at her uh, love cats and dogs often more than people they don't judge or complain they just love you unconditionally says becky Letton. yes i have my little labrador becky and it's unconditional love two way two way i say i wag my tail as well and uh, also, uh, oh, for a lot of reaction, guys. Thank you very much for that. Share, 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 share. Also, can you go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Just put it into your search engine, into your Google. Just put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel and up it will come. And can you, if you're in a position to, subscribe to it? You don't have to pay any money, guys. You just click subscribe. And uh, if you could do that, that'd be great. Here's Margaret Bonner. Hi, Scotty. Two kisses. Hi, Margaret. And uh, John Gray's watching. Excellent, John. Dinky do to you, I say. What a fabulous program it's been. I'm sorry about the break in transmission, guys. I'm sorry about that, but there was nothing I can do about it. That's what happens when you're popular globally. Globally. Mmm. There you go. Uh, so that's what happens there. Steve Webster's watching, of course. Lol, says William Smith. Lol to you, William Smith. Right. What is the time? It's time McClue was not here. I thank you for joining us. I thank you for watching. I thank you for being you. It's a lovely, lovely thing to be. I thank you for watching me and being with me. That's a lovely, lovely thing to do. Get to the GoFundMe and start the pennies dropping, guys. I don't want to be looking at it next week and it's sitting at the same total. I want you to take it seriously and start funding me so we can build up an independent media with no agenda. Just you and me. Also, spread the news of the World's Top Talk Show. This program, every Sunday night, 2200 hours live on facebook live that big 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 global broadcast platform and let's bring audience and bring audience and bring audience so that we're all talking together remember when you're hearing charges of racism about people there is only one race the human race and we are all members of it remember everyone smiles in the same language okay uh, thanks for your show tonight. Greatly appreciated, says Rene. Uh, please don't sing the song, says George Mullen. The number two bus is not due yet. Nothing to throw myself under. I put my hand out to stop a bus the other day. But I wasn't strong enough. <coughs> right. <coughs> Since George has said so nicely he doesn't want me to sing the song, I think I'll sing the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of winter, zane, au revoir, and a cheerio. So, lots, have a fabulous week. Thanks for watching. This is Scotty McClure saying, dinky-doo, and Scotty McClure has left the building.